Yeah. Half an hour <laughs> since recording. Cisco blowing his nose directly <laughs> into the microphone. <laughs> Trying to get that yeah, done before you started recording. I'm <laughs> <laughs> hearing myself breathe on the recordings, and it's like I, I, I must clear my sinuses. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Polaris Pod GHR, generous helpings of riboflavin. An offshoot of the Polaris Pod gaming stream, GHR is where we play, then review random and often questionable free-to-play games, and then say whether or not, in our humble, ill-informed opinions, we'd recommend them to anyone out there. I'm Braz, and as is now the norm, joining me today are Cisco, Hello. and Adam. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> How many hellos do you need, <laughs> just to get the right amount? Give us a couple, and I'll choose the best one, and I definitely won't leave them all in. Uh, (laughs) hello hello hi that's a flirty one (laughs) what that was a flirty one that was not (laughs) and speaking of what is becoming the norm did you play this one again Adam Uh, not after we played it (laughs) so here's the thing right here's the thing Uh, Cisco and I have been playing this game for about a month, if not a little more, and the recording of this kept getting pushed back and back and back and back, and I kept asking Adam, you know, uh, have you you played it yet? And he's like, I've been really busy, but I will get to it, and I was like, it's okay, it's fine, we're we're playing it, you know, we're figuring it out, it's a bit difficult to figure out, but you'll get it, you know? Yeah. He'll figure it out. Anyway, time moved on, I contacted him again, and I was like, so, you know recording time have you played it he was well i've played it but i couldn't figure it out yeah it, it turns out he's been playing it in yeah, french <laughs> it, well i did read that far <laughs> <laughs> yeah no shit adam no shit how good is your french adam I mean, are you particularly I racist? I thought it was pretty french? good but i realized i'm shocking <laughs> <laughs> well as is the way of things, I give you both a free-to-play game, so no one out there will be financially excluded from give it and go themselves, should they want to. Give you a week to play it, and <clears throat> we're now here to discuss it and whether or not we'd recommend it to anyone, or anyone spend their precious fleeting time on it. This time, we played a goddamn Star Trek game. Fish monsters! Star Trek, a Territoire Alien, or Star Trek Alien Domain, is a free in-browser via Game Samba, Facebook, via Facebook, and in French, on Steam strategy game. It's set, believe it or not, in the Star Trek universe, quote, many years after the return of the USS Voyager from the Delta Quadrant, as I'm sure you all remember. The gameplay and story are confined to fluidic space, however, so you won't be visiting Riser any time soon. It was developed by Game Samba and published supposedly by Global Genome Corporate, but I wouldn't recommend you look them up because their official pages redirect like a sumbitch. I was lucky visitor number one million every time the fecking page auto reloaded on me. Weird that. I'm so lucky. You are damn lucky. Mm. The game is also very quick to remind you at every opportunity it is officially licensed. It's officially licensed. It's an officially licensed Star Trek TM game. Officially licensed by Star Trek TM and a Star Trek TM officially licensed game. TM. Is it licensed? TM. Officially. The game itself, much to my initial dismay, is a resource management and pretty much faux strategy game. There isn't any real strategy. There's paper-thin pretend strategy. In, In the fights, there's no real control over what's happening. I mean... 
you have skills, but it's mostly just automatic. Uh, there, <laughs> there is some strategy about picking the right skills and the right weapons, and you do get to use them, and you got to use them in the right order. So there is. It, it, it's it, paper thin. It there gets, is no there's strategy. There's a little bit of strategy later. All on. the and video footage I have that's playing right now over your explanation is just automatic fights, automatically playing to themselves autonomously. I, I don't. Uh, that's the early stages. When you get it, get much, much later on as we've gotten after playing for a full month, uh, there is more strategy comes into play and where you put your ships and what you've actually got on your ships starts to make a difference. <laughs> That's the best retort of that I could come up with. It's a very mild and general progression game, with the hook being a vague sense of achievement through progression. You start a colony, you mine resources to upgrade facilities to better mine resources, to make more facilities that you can upgrade to make even more facilities better at mining resources. All along the way, using those resources to also build ships so that your fleet's strength number can progress and take part in the continually raising strength number requirements of the game progression. At every step, there's a hurdle or gate that is preventing you from continuing the progression further until some arbitrary number or prerequisite is met. Be that uh, character level, resources mined, fleet strength, etc, etc. It's a very simplistic hook and concept, but having just said that, upon starting it, cold open on this game, it is indecipherable. It is one of the worst explained games I've ever played. When I started, there was a quick cutscene basically saying like, oh, you know, um, 8472, they're a bastard, and the Federation were resting on their laurels and oh now they're gonna get you or some shit like that and you're stolen into fluidic space and then boom here's a blank screen and you're just sitting there in your ship in this system and i had no f-ing clue what was supposed to be happening where i was supposed to be going what i should be clicking on or why and my um my mission tracker was empty so i'm yeah. just clicking on everything on the screen going what the f- is this and because it's a flash game if you right click you get the flash options which messes everything up (laughs) well i had the same the same issue i managed randomly to to click on the tiny icon in the like the top left corner of the missions window which actually opened the mission at no point anywhere does it warn you you have to do that no and that's in english adam the game <laughs> is one it is just really badly explained and and if you go look on the website most of the information on the website is coming soon <laughs> so bear in mind this game has been out for four years and most of the information about the game is coming soon so there's like if you want to look at aliens you don't want to look at weapons if you want to look at your skills and find out what any of that crap means you can't it's all trial and error. It's, it's all guesswork. Yeah, it, which kind of worked for me because I enjoy puzzling things out and I get a little bit of joy from figuring out the right answer. You get joy <laughs> from bad game design. No, I get joy from solving puzzles. So the fact that the entire How game to itself actually... is a f- puzzle how to start works. playing the game shouldn't be a puzzle it's just a puzzle you're supposed to solve it it's not a puzzle <laughs> it's literally not a puzzle i mean it's puzzling but it's not a puzzle right well you know with all that out of the way what did you guys think of star trek tm alien domain tm 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 i i, I will take sloppy seconds so i'll let adam go first because i'm you're sure gonna let I, the guy who hasn't played I'm the sure game go he first. has a lot to say all right, adam, i'm putting my feet up this game i'm grabbing a we're, drink we're gonna we're gonna sit back we're gonna relax and let adam at explain least in glorious technical detail at least 10 minutes on this game everything take it away uh, adam thank you very much <laughs> well as as you all know i did pick the french version so for the 17 minutes of the French version that I played, I, I went on it and I was like, okay, you know, this isn't that too hard. I figure this out. We go to this planet and we do this and we shoot this. And then it took me to a space station. So I think for the first two minutes, I was like, oh yeah, this is pretty cool. And then it gets 15 minutes. I was like, what the f- 
fuck is going on? I can't speak fucking French. What the hell? The bloody pussies. <laughs> oh, jeez, Adam. You can't help yourself. You have to be racist. And it was just like, what the fuck? I was just going back to the same thing and then doing the same thing. And then he was like, what? And then, obviously, because it's trying to explain, like, you know, it would come up with a little thing saying, oh, this down here means this, but it's in French. I don't know what the fuck it means. It could mean it's a fucking laser. It could mean quit the game. <laughs> so I pushed around the buttons. Eventually, I figured out that it, it took me to a space state or uh, a star. No, what is it? A planet where you make your own base, isn't it? Yeah. And I built a the colony. command center bit. And uh, I figured out it said command center. And then, uh, what is the French for command center, Adam? I don't know. <laughs> it was the biggest building, and they're always the command center. So, anyway, <laughs> it's not the it's command, not a command center. center, it's a power station. But <laughs> yes. keep going. Uh, wow, well, same thing, anyway. <laughs> not really, no, not really. <laughs> I don't want you designing my bases. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? Bloody French, why <laughs> can't they just speak English? So, so. <laughs> So, where was I? <laughs> Being racist and Right ranting. in the middle of a French <laughs> racist rant. <laughs> so, yeah, I figured out you go, you go, you get in a fight and you get resources and you come back and you can build more things. And that, like, I, again, I was a few more minutes of that and I was like, okay, I get this. And then it was adding me, telling me to do something else, but obviously I didn't know what the f*** it was saying. So I just screamed at it, and then I was like, <laughs> "This, I had enough," <laughs> and I turned and, it off. And then I asked then, you if you'd played it. You, yeah, you asked me, and I said I can't figure it out. And then you sent me a message saying, "Have you been playing the French version by any chance?" <laughs> 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 so <laughs> from then, <laughs> I installed the right version, <laughs> and it was fun for about ten minutes. <laughs> Which is all you played then, of it, right? <laughs> It's about half an hour, uh, and then again, I just I, I, forgot, I got bored. It was just like you said, it was a bit like go here, shoot these people, get some supplies, go back, build this, and it was like I just couldn't get into it. It was a lot better in English. I understood it, you know. <laughs> it's trying to trying to see what French data told me, it just didn't make any sense. And it, he's an Android; he should speak loads of languages. Yeah, so you know, the the ten fifteen minutes I played in the English, you know, it was a lot better but i got bored easily <laughs> well it is really badly translated in many many parts one of the first things that really got to us was levitating a planet what is that what, what do you think that means <laughs> well that's the thing to levitate something is to float it to make it levitate you know raise off the ground yeah, and yeah. float we had no clue what the f that was supposed to mean apparently it means colonize what to like take over a planet no. if i said adam you have a bit of equipment here it's a phaser right you yep. should resolve it what do you think that means uh i don't know i'd probably go back to the french version <laughs> understand that better <laughs> well that's what i mean so all these things i don't know if they're literal translations or what but to resolve it means to dismantle it now, these are the oh. things you have to start like deciphering to play this game or have any idea what it's talking about first of all like the game itself is indecipherable then you get into these other things and all these words just don't make any sense and in context you spend half your time trying to figure out what is happening or why it's happening or what that word is supposed to mean and then you ask like the people in the game what the f does resolve mean what does levitate mean and they go yeah don't levitate planets bro i was like what <laughs> what are you talking about what is it doing and then you start using these words in context of the game after a month of playing it you know what they mean reform means upgrade say upgrade but that's fine it's the french fire <laughs> like adam was saying um the story is paper thin the, the story again it doesn't make any sense it is madness and it really doesn't matter because anytime it pops up, everybody clicks as quickly as they can to get rid of it because usually it pops up when you're in a place where you could probably get killed. Um, but on a positive, the weird thing that I found about this game, which I wouldn't expect of any free-to-play game, is the community within it. 
the other people playing the game are actually helpful, other than the first don't levitate planets, bro. Well, yeah, they're, they're helpful and there are rules about they have They things. have their rules of conduct that yeah. have sort of been agreed upon by the, the player base saying, not yeah, a, let's not, not really be dicks. Not really enforced except if you start col- uh, levitating planets, which is what basically you're given a mission to go and uh, loot a colony. You find a colony, you hit loot, and nothing seems to happen. There's another button that is Occupy. You hit that, and people start screaming at you not to levitate. And you, as far as you're concerned... <laughs> you're like, what the f*** is everybody talking about? As far as you're concerned, you haven't <laughs> levitated. You've occupied, which actually just means you've destroyed the other person's colony. And the reason people get pissed off at you is... Well, basically, you can loot a colony as many times as you want, and it always remains. If you start destroying them, they're gone. And a lot of people, like, you know, use them for farming. So if you start destroying colonies, but they call it levitating because the colony technically isn't destroyed, it just gets floated. And if it gets destroyed, you can land it on another planet if you can clear a planet. And there are hundreds and hundreds of Uh. planets. (laughs) <laughs> I may have to. <laughs> so I've been holding that in for ages, and you just let rip mid sentence. Um, it is there. <laughs> it is a stretch, and it is it's a huge it, stretch. It is literally it's just a stretch. kind of English-ish. It's like again, it's it's Google Translate. It's somebody hasn't. Oh, quite... it's not Google. Don't you don't you diss Google Translate? This is Bing translation. Oh, okay, yeah. So. <clears throat> Yes, it's a poorly translated game. Yes, the images of bridge officers are baffling. Yes, they're all wearing the next generation uniform for no reason at all, even though it's supposed to be post Voyager. Supposedly, do you ever see the Voyager crew? No, no. There's no. Ah. Oh, there's there's only two characters from the main series in it as officers you can recruit, and they were very recently added uh, to and the and game. That's at Christmas and Martok. But you can't, uh, you can't recruit You can't them. recruit, unless you're willing to pay about two grand. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't recruit them. Cisco, you're the resource and strategy gamer. You, I think, really like this game. Yeah. I had a very tough time starting this game. I, it's I, not my kind of you game. You had a tough time. <laughs> I enjoyed the game when I got into it. And you and I played it sort of in tandem uh, for a bit, even though you were you were Klingon and I was Federation, I was Space Tin. By the way, one of the one of the characters that you could choose as your avatar, even though it doesn't really matter, looks just like Tin. So it was like ah, it's Space Tin. But you, like I said, really enjoyed this game. You're still playing it. Yes. I have got bored of it now and just can't face trying to do any more of it. Can you explain to people? Because, like I said, it was absolutely indecipherable how the game works, how it progresses, what you do in it, and what ultimately is the point. Okay. Well, the ultimate point I can't really say because I think I haven't got to the end of the game. I don't think there is an end to the game because the whole ultimate point of this is to milk people of money. They're not doing too well, then, I would say. I You've think, paid nothing. I, I've paid nothing, but I there are a lot of people on that game who... Adam paid almost paid in Euro... <laughs> um, they don't use francs anymore but i think that was a diss well, against I, the french Adam. i think what come on i, I think i'll, I'll put i don't the know what money i don't know what they use and, anyway i'll put the money in the, the euro the, i guess <laughs> no the euro <laughs> they, they do not pay for things with baguettes that's what you think <laughs> those french would take any baguette giggity <laughs> 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 I, I, all I'm, all I'm, I'm really is... sorry, future me, who has to edit these things together. So I just could imagine Adam wandering around the streets of Paris trying to get guys to take his baguette. We might be get out. <laughs> oh man! Hello, you like my baguette? <laughs> ah, he's going to bag me a baguette. I've got some cheese for my baguette. <laughs> Cheese? That's what they eat, isn't it? Cheese and baguettes? I don't know. <laughs> Snails and things. You know that um, reputation of you being racist, Adam? It's well earned. <laughs> and how we try to downplay it all the time because we know you're not really, but then it gets more and more difficult every time we record one of these. <laughs> For me to keep that in mind that you're not actually racist. Ah. <laughs> uh, 
the game is very convoluted so trying to explain it quickly or concisely is very very difficult I see the the, the the that whole concept that works for me I, I quite enjoy the game there's a lot of pottering that you can do where you just wander from system to system do a little bit of explore there's a quick fight you get some resources and you can just go wander and I, I enjoy pottering in games it's not particularly intense there's no nervousness or anything it's just I can turn my brain off for a little bit and just potter it's a madly contradictory game in that it's as I've said, indecipherable, stupidly complex, but it's also really simple. Yes. Once you figure it out, it is so simple. That was when I stopped being interested in it. You know, you're saying you enjoy the puzzle and the mystery and stuff earlier on. As soon as I figured out all the bits and pieces of it, I got so bored of it so quickly. And like you're saying, you can't just potter and it's it's non invasive. <laughs> it's just a uh, well, it's a free-to-play game. This could play on a mobile. Yes. Oh, it's easy. so simplistic. It doesn't, unfortunately, but it could. <laughs> For those who want to play it when they're not in the at, at home or at their PC. Um, or in France. Or in France. Or just, you know, next door to Adam. While he's <laughs> beating people with baguettes. Now, I'm happy, I'm happy to say that's now the word of the day for this. <laughs> instead yeah. of... Instead of pussy, as it was earlier. <laughs> pussy baguette. Ew. Pussy baguette. Yeah, no, even I thought that was a bit gross then. <laughs> but, because it's a free-to-play game, there's always the stores on free-to-play yes. game. And this one has a billion and twelve different stores. Because they're not always stores. There are events, there is, there's a store, there's a discount store... There's a black hole. So like a fruit um, machine type fruit thing. Fruit machine thing. Um, there's the lucky box where you got to try and get the lo- guess which is the lucky box. There's that stranger one that I never figured out. Lots of events for spending. So if you spend, ex- you know, if you buy X amount of credits, then they'll give you s- extra things. There's um, or if you spend X amount of. So it's either, there's there's two. There's buy credits ones and there's spend credits ones. Yeah. Um, and so if you're buying or spending credits, then you get then you get extra stuff. That's where people are getting a lot of their equipment from. Um, the actual cost of the credits made me my head spin. It's like two hundred credits is five dollars. Now that gets you fuck all. If you were to buy in the thousands, it, it's literally hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Now the only thing I'd say that, that you can do is there's a monthly, like, card which gives you, which is a subscription basically. It's yeah? kind of it's a subscription, but basically gives you hundred credits a day for ten dollars, so that's three thousand credits. Whereas if you were to buy three thousand credits straight up, it's that's a hundred and fifty dollars. Wow. So that's that's insane, but people are spending credits, and you you, you see, can tell you the can people tell, on the you server. Can tell, it is yeah. a pay to win thing. Yes. You can you can literally tell the people who are paying they level up faster because they get more deuterium because you can buy more deuterium. There isn't actually most of it isn't store stuff that you can buy. Most of it is these events and getting lucky in opening loot boxes. Yeah. So it's not a there's not a I'll, I'll pay fifty dollars and get a thousand credits and I'll buy this ship. Yeah. So I I. I I'll be quite honest. I think it is there to milk money out of people. I think that they're they are milking a lot of money for anybody who's getting to the top, and we never got we haven't got far enough. But I, I in a few levels time for me. Apparently, I get open access to inter server PvP, where literally the guy said, "Do not go into this until you're max level." It's also worth noting at this point we started on a brand new server. It was virtually either the day it started or very soon after it started because I'm like in the top twenty in levels, hmm. and and you know if it had been going for any longer there'd be no way because I'm not even halfway to max level. I'm, I'm sorry, about <laughs> halfway to max level. Brand new server, but and here's the other thing: I think the game for certain people is very addictive. Yes, because there's people who are high up on our server now who have come from another server just to get onto the new server and start doing the things first. And that's the other thing. Everything you buy is for that character on that server yes. only. So if you if you spend credits or if you buy a like one of those monthly cards, it only applies to the server you buy it for. Well, I saw people talking basically saying like 
they have a better setup on the other server or they had a better setup i don't maybe they're playing both for all i know they jump from server to server to server playing all of it all day every day never ending but that's the whole thing it's all about very slowly grinding your way to better stuff and that is uh, the other thing is um like the best stuff the sets that you've got to make they take special alloy but for special alloy you get special alloy a which is what you get off your normal stuff to de degrading it. The only way to get special alloy B, which is for the next step up weapons, which is for your level 50 weapons, is by destroying the set stuff from A. So you've got to grind A, which takes a very long time. I've got one in a month. I've got enough material to make one of the set pieces in a month. And it take, you got, apparently it roughly needs about four of those to degrade to make a B. And there's a C. As far as I think the highest I've seen thus far is G, special alloy G. And there is no way to get special alloy. I think there's there's one or two ways to get like a, an occasional very rare random drop. So special alloy B, I've been able to get for the last three days, and thus far I've picked up two. It takes a hundred and fifty to make a weapon, or to make an item of something. Yeah. Uh, and on top of that, you need other materials that are also slow. So it's a very, very slow grind to get the good equipment. Never. Not now. I know. <laughs> I've done. I'm done with this game. I'm so done with the game. As a distraction, it's fine. As a game to care about, and I get the feeling that some people really do care, really care about it. No. It's yeah. insanity to even consider having any investment in it it's just insane the amount of stuff the, the grind that's required is and even if you bought your way there's still a stupid amount of grind required <clears throat> i had fun pottering around not caring doing the things showing up to the the daily boss battles meeting all the people watching the banter engaging in banter with the other people engaging in the pvp with them but we started a new server when it was brand new and leveled up in tandem with these people. If I joined right now and you have all these people that are just so insanely overpowered, there would be no community because you would have these godlike figures who could just destroy you and would destroy you. It would take you so long to catch up to them. That'd be, that'd be my one big bit of advice if anybody wanted to play this game is wait until a new server starts and start on a new server as it starts. And you didn't play it because it was in French. And then <laughs> you got into the English version and you still didn't play it. Cisco's still playing it. so that's longer than the French one. <laughs> <laughs> By a matter of minutes. Um, Cisco's still playing it, so that says something for it, if, if, if something has to be said for it. Now, I would normally throw over to Steam reviews at this point, but given that the only version on Steam is the French one and most of the reviews are people bitching about the fact that it's in French or that it's pay to win and yada 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 but in French and they can't understand a word that's going on I'm just going to skip over that bit because there isn't really much I can do with it no. I looked around elsewhere and there was a few people bitching about like the you said earlier the, the Wharf and the Martok thing yeah that it was just pay to win and that sort of thing well that's nothing new with free to play we know that kind of stuff so I will move straight on, I suppose, to the recommendations. Cisco, would you recommend Star Trek Alien Domain or Star Trek Terre Territoire Alien? Not really. But you f***ing love this game. I, I play it, I enjoy it. I You're still playing it. You were playing it when this review very, started. When I, we started recording this, <laughs> you were playing the damn thing. I have a very specific personality which most people don't have. I, it, it's a soothing game to me because it doesn't involve a lot of thought but I can't imagine I can't really recommend it to other people because I don't think most people would enjoy it or would become addicted you've got to be at a point where you're able to just basically go in not become addicted not get bored of the fact you're grinding all the time be able to, f to, to put up with the English and actually figuring out what you've got to do 
uh, um, with no tutorials and all that. So I really can't recommend it to people. <laughs> um, I can say it's fine for me to play. You would recommend it to yourself. <laughs> I'll recommend it to me, but I've already played it, so I, I know that. So you're like, shut up, me. I'm already playing it. Adam, would you recommend this game to anyone? If I played the French version first, yeah. probably. But because I was so pissed off at playing that, because I couldn't understand it, when I got into the English version, I was still pissed off. So <laughs> I think that's what made me not like it as much as it could have been. So, but no. <laughs> if we'd recorded this when we were supposed to, if we played this game for a week, because it was about a week it took for me to get into the game and actually start enjoying playing it, because up until that point it was like, as I said, this is indecipherable, this is stupid, there is no story, there is no this, that and the other, there is thousands of stores or mini games or events that all require like do it once for free then start paying credits to do it again yep. pay credits to do it again pay credits to do it 10 times in a row and all that kind of shit and there was so much more of that than there was any understanding of the game that it annoyed me and i was like this is just a cash grab they've got the star trek license and they've slapped this shit together play it after about a week, when you start getting into it and figuring out what it is, it's just an increment game where you're getting better at all the things. Yeah. You build your base, you upgrade all the bits of the base. Every time you upgrade a bit, it takes longer to upgrade it again, and it requires more metal, and it requires more power, so you have to upgrade your power station, and then, oh, you've reached a level where you can have two colonies, so you can start that process again, and then you've got them both going at the same time. But that means you're reaping twice as many of the resources... And then, oh, you get three. There's a third one. Ah, and it's great. And then you open a box and you get an amazing ship and everybody's jealous and you're like, uh, and all that. But if you'd asked me then, I would have probably went, you know what? Yeah, I'd recommend this game. Go for it. It's it's free. You don't have to put any money in it. It's soothing to Cisco's. It's, <laughs> it's fine to feel like you're progressing in something when it has like, you know, oh, you're achieving something. You're, you're working towards getting the next planet. Oh, you finally got that far and yada, yada, yada. But right now, after a month and a bit of playing it, I am completely done with the game. I see no um, value in it anymore. You don't feel like I'm progressing anything. You're just spinning wheels constantly. Because the next ship requires twice as much as the last ship. Yeah. To, to but scroll. it's not going to be twice as good. It's going to be slightly better than the current ship. But you need the next ship because all the, the next stuff that you're getting onto is a little too tough for your current ship. And that's the, the point. Things are slightly too tough. Grind it out for f***ing ever in a day. Or just, you know, open some boxes. Buy some keys and buy some boxes and hope that you get lucky. So, no, I can't recommend it. Even though I've enjoyed playing it with you and talking about it with you and figuring it out with you and laughing at the terrible English with you and, and laughing at the, the pitiful story or the terrible drawings of characters that are clearly referenced from something else possibly photographs of people but they've tried to turn them into klingons or they've tried to turn them into vulcans whatever it's fine or get baffled at the fact that you're building up to the constitution class ship the like the original enterprise and you're like why why would that ship be better than these ships it's really fucking old and shit but no i i can't recommend it because it's a huge time sink it doesn't get you anything. It's more infuriating than most other things. And there is a sweet spot. If you get past all the shit at the beginning, you'll get to a bit where it's kind of fun for a bit. But I think you were mostly the cause of that because if you weren't playing it and I wasn't coming on to, to see the things that we were doing together, I wouldn't have wanted to continue. It, it held nothing for me. It wasn't soothing for me. It was annoying. And that's the point. I think it's supposed to be frustrating. Maybe then you'll buy some extra stuff. So play if you can find me to play with. If you can play with Cisco, <laughs> I recommend it to you if you can play with Cisco. Otherwise, no. Oh, but also you have to play with Cisco at the beginning of a server, <laughs> which isn't going to happen. <laughs> so if you could play with, if you could go back in time and play with Cisco about a month ago, I'd recommend it to you. Otherwise, no. Stay away from it. I feel bad saying that, but stay the f*** away from it. Is it bad that... We've already said we don't reject, we recommend it. So we all. This is the first game that we've all not been able to recommend, mm. and yet I'm still playing it. 
Like my baguette. Giggity. <laughs> so, main problem. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on record now for my future self. Main problem with this, Adam didn't play it. <laughs> <laughs> It spent a month and a bit before we could do a review of a game that Adam didn't play. He had nothing to say about it. He was silent throughout the entire thing. We didn't have much to say about the game because it's f***ing indecipherable. We don't recommend the game. I'm weirdly starting to hate the game retroactively, even though I was just saying it's fine. And you're still playing the game. This is going to be a weird f***ing review. I don't know how I'm going to edit this into anything that makes any kind of sense. Also, like, this recording, we've hit the 1 hour 30 mark now, right? Which I'm obviously, it's not going to be an hour and a half long. I'm going to cut it down. We couldn't, even in this time, explain the intricacies of the game. Because we would just be sitting here babbling for hours saying... You upgrade this so you can get that, but that stuff you need to double to get this. But you can't get that until you've unlocked this other thing. And you can't unlock the other thing until you reach a certain level. But you can't get to that level because it takes deuterium to level up. And the only way to get XP is to do explore missions. And just explore missions obviously take deuterium, which runs out. And you only get one, you can only upgrade your deuterium mine, for lack of a better word, or synthesizer, I think it is. You can't upgrade it. You, yeah, you, you can't get, upgrade it. I'm saying you can't upgrade it past column. one. Basically. And you get one per colony, so you're stuck behind that. We would be here for f-ing hours if anybody knows the game and listens to this. They'll be like, they barely explained it at all. You can't. It's indecipherable, really f-ing complex, but at the same time, stupidly simplistic. And it's a licensed game. It's a Star Trek TM licensed game with the Star Trek license, which it does not make use of. It's lip service at best. You might recognize some of the ship's names and designs, but that's pretty much it. There's Vulcans in there that don't look like Vulcans. There's pictures of people who are supposed to be in Starfleet that Adam was killing himself laughing at when he was up here. He was killing himself laughing because they looked like douchebags that they'd drawn Star Trek uniforms on. And the guy you thought was oh, yeah, Data? Yeah, yeah. He's not Data, by the way. He's not even an android. He's just <laughs> some guy in the game that... He is one of my bridge officers because they just use the same pictures for all the feckin' things. This game cannot be explained in a review fully. We don't recommend you play it, but if you want to actually experience it and understand why we can't explain it or review it properly... Go and play it, but don't hate us. The game is f***ing mental. Oh, Adam, you chose this, you I know. No, no, don't let me pick the game next time. <laughs> go and play the game. Don't blame us, but go and play it because it's nearly impossible to review. But play the French version first. Play it in French <laughs> and then get obsessed with baguettes. <laughs> it was you. <laughs> See now they don't know who it was. Now they don't know which one it was. <laughs> I think we're done. I really oh, yeah. do. I yeah. think we're done. We're pretty much done. We, we need to we need to pick a good game for next time. Play and then it play and record it, it for a week and then record it after that week. Adam <laughs> <laughs> Well it was I, it was French. <laughs> that doesn't that doesn't explain away how long it took you to find out that it was French. Right. We will do that. I now have the the honor and privilege to try to, to re-listen through this entire one hour and forty minutes and try and make an episode out of it and then find somebody to do the like, share and subscribe. Because I'm not doing it. Adam's not doing it again. Meeks is very suspicious now. He's very <laughs> suspicious if I ask him anything. So I'm going to I'm gonna have to trick someone else into it. And I, I'll, I've got someone in mind, so that's fine. So, what about tin? Uh, you can't get tin for love and baguettes these days, Adam. Hey, Edo, uh, listen, our Scouse Mouse is dodging my calls. <laughs> he knows I'm putting together another video. Mm-hmm. So I was thinking, 
why not broaden the GHR horizons a little and maybe culture Adam up a bit while we're at it? God knows he needs it. Um, why don't we get the like thing out of the way with a little Latin flair? Could you help us out? Oh, of course. Oh, uh, awesome. Okay. Um, Spanish us up, Ito. Don't worry about Adam. I've got Bing Translate here. He'll he'll be able to follow along. Ah, <laughs> uh, um, si te gusta este video, dale me gusta, comparte y suscríbete. Great. Uh, yeah. Um, give me a sec. Okay. Trying to think something that needs to be said. What? Why are you suddenly so echoey? It sounds like you're on a karaoke machine. Dale me gusta, comparte y suscríbete al canal. Al stream dogo, Tennyson, eso le encantará. Um, yeah, uh, thanks, you know. Although, um, singing that to the tune of La Cucaracha might be sending Adam the wrong message. Alrighty, that'll work. Can you just say in English, like, share, and subscribe? If you like the video, like, share it, and subscribe. I prefer the Spanish. Well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I butcher the English, so... Well, Adam butchers the French. Uh, well, he's not French, is he? Luckily for him, no. 